Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, everyone, I just would like to uh, answer since some of you have been asking for some information about ESL online companies. But before that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button there so you guys will be updated every time I upload a new video. Let's go! To tell you honestly, I am not connected to any online uh, companies or ESL online companies. I am not connected to any of these that I'm gonna share to you. Yeah, so uh, I decided to ask some of my friends who are connected to some ESL companies. And there are also some ESL companies which I'm gonna share to you and I will give you the link of these companies in the description, everyone. Uh, the first ESL online company, well, it's not really a company, but it is considered as a group. Yes, it's a group of tutors. So this is a Japan group of tutors. This is also considered as California Bunny English. Yes, and teacher Sheila Tahib, or Style Speaks, Sheila Tahib, that is her YouTube channel. She's going to talk about this company since she's working here. Or she has been working here for quite a long time. Japan Group of Tutors, or California Bunny English, is a group of Chinese parents founded by Mr. Japan. So basically, this is not a company. This is an organization of parents in China. Once you are hired to teach in their group, uh, you will then be working with these parents and they are actually parents of your students. You will communicate with them directly and everything. Uh, one of them will also act like uh, act as a handler and the handler's task is to make sure everything is running smoothly. So she will serve as a bridge between you and some other parents who hardly speak English. And she will uh, arrange your schedule and promote you to some other parents. Actually, those parents, uh, parents of your students, if they like you, they will definitely promote you to their friends and relatives just to make sure your schedule or your empty slots will be filled in. So far, based on my experience, uh, they are all very responsible and professional to work with. This is about the Japan group of tutors or considered as California Bunny English, everyone. How to apply for this uh, group of tutors? Well, in order to apply for this uh, group of tutors, you just have to send a one-minute video it's like a self-introduction, one-minute self-introduction video and also your resume to the email address of Mr. Chipan, who is the founder of this group of tutors, everyone. So for the email ad, please uh, check in the description. I have written the email address of this group of tutors, everyone. Yeah, there are some uh, ESL online companies which my friends have recommended and i'm just gonna share to you the names of these esl online companies so that you will be able to uh, check them out and see how the hiring process is and know the qualifications so first there is nova kid So rare job. to know the information and how to apply 
for these ESN online companies, I place the link below. All these ESL online companies, the links are below so you guys will know the details about the hiring process, the qualifications, and the requirements in order to work for them. I have also asked some information from Teacher Russell. So if you guys are interested, please uh, visit Teacher Russell. She will be sharing her experience about the hiring process and qualifications which are common among these ESL online companies. So you guys will have some ideas about these ESL online companies when it comes to the hiring process and qualification. Here is Teacher Russell. I think with all these companies, most of them have the same kind of um, recruitment process or qualifications when you want to apply as an English teacher. As far as I know, and I asked some of my friends too, if you want to apply as an English tutor or an English teacher, I think the very first requirement, you have to be at least a graduate of a four-year um, course. Any kind of courses, it's okay. Even if your major is not English or education, it's fine. As long as you can speak English well, and if you have any call center experience, that will be awesome. That's also an additional point. And of course, if you have any experiences when it comes to teaching, that's a plus point also. And also you need to prepare a demo. Um, there will be an interviewer who will call you and uh, ask you to do a demo teaching. You need to pass the grammar test. And after that, you will be uh, getting an interview with the managers. So I think there are three interviews that you need to pass. And please make sure to actually check the websites of each company that you want to apply for, especially when it comes to the specs of the computer or the laptop, because I think that's important. They're checking it. At Five One Talk and Akin Talk, I think they're they're really checking on that one. So I think you really have to have a high um, specs when it comes to the laptop, and I think that's important. And of course, for interviews, I just want you to prepare a really good headset and make sure your background is plain like this, white, or if the company is asking you to put their their uh, company name as a backdrop then I guess you have to do that also. But as simple as it is, no clutter in the background, make sure that your background is not noisy. Well, you can also buy a headset that has a noise reduction um, system. So yes, that will be great because I think it's very good for having online classes. I asked my students about that. They say they couldn't even hear any background, even if my son's kind of noisy sometimes. So I think that's very helpful. And yes, well, you have to be confident enough to um, face the interviewer. I know it's not easy. We normally get nervous, but please practice, practice, practice um, speaking in front of the mirror. That's really important. Try to memorize all the interview questions. I think you can find a lot of interview questions online, like the most commonly asked interview questions. I'm sorry I cannot give you that because, well, I've been in this company for a long time now, so I think I kind of forget the, you know, basic questions that were being asked. But I hope that this video is still very helpful for you guys and uh, I think if you have any questions you can ask teacher Kathy. Now just one tip in case you are called for an interview um, it is very important well I don't know these employers personally but based on my experience when I was in the Philippines I've experienced a lot <laughs> well quite a lot Yes, uh, during the interview, these employers actually look for teachers who are good at pronunciation and also grammar. So if you think you are very good at these, then you have the chance <laughs> to get this job, everyone. Well, as an English teacher, we need to be good at pronunciation and grammar because these are the important things in teaching the kinds of students that we have, especially the non-English speakers, since their sentence structure is different from English. So with the grammar, if we know grammar, then we can easily correct the mistakes of these kinds of students. So yeah, that's really it. I wish you luck for your job hunting, and I hope that I have been able to answer all your questions about this information. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one.
just wanna be home.